Welcome to Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today I'll be covering how to calculate zonal statistics by using fishnet data. The zonal tools in ArcGIS Pro allow us to perform analysis when the output is a result of computations performed on each input zone. When we search for zonal under the geoprocessing window, we see that there are different zonal tools including zonal fill, zonal geometry, zonal histogram, and a couple of zonal statistics tools. We will cover one of the zonal statistics tool in this video. For a basic understanding, a zonal statistics operation is one that calculates statistics on cell values of a raster within the zones defined by another dataset. For this demo, we will use elevation raster surface to compute the statistics, and we are going to create fishnet polygons to define our zones. This way, we will also learn how to use the fishnet tool. Zonal statistics is a common spatial analysis procedure for raster data. Some use cases for this operation include summarizing rain or calculating highest elevation in a watershed or calculating the average slope in a plot, adding tree cover in an eco zone by summing land cover data set or even to find some anomalies in the input raster dataset. This illustration shows that there are two tools that calculate statistics by zones, zonal statistics and zonal statistics as table. The zonal statistics tool calculates only one statistic at a time and creates a raster output. The other tool that we will cover in this video is the zonal statistics as table. It calculates one or multiple statistics and creates a table output. Let's understand it better by running the zonal operation on this elevation surface. As mentioned earlier, we will first create the zone polygon dataset using the fishnet tool. We will search for create fishnet tool from the geoprocessing window. We can see from the tool description that it creates a fishnet of rectangular cells and the output can be a polyline or a polygon. As the input origin coordinates are required, we will select current display under the drop down option of template extent and input 10 under the number of rows and columns. Finally, we will select the geometry type as polygon and run the tool. It will create a 10 by 10 fishnet grid for the current display extent. Let's change its symbology to view the underlying layer by making it hollow. Okay. So we are all set to run our zonal statistics tool. Let's search and open the zonal statistics tool as a table from the geoprocessing window. Under the input raster or feature zone data, we will select the layer that defines a zone. It is important to note that the zones do not have to be contiguous. If it is a raster, it must be an integer raster. In our case, it is the fishnet polygon. Another point to note is that if the zone input is a feature and it contains overlapping zones, then statistics are computed and reported for each individual zone. Zone field is the field that defines each zone. Default field will be the first available integer or text field, else it will show the object ID field. Input value raster is the raster on which we will calculate the statistics. In this case, it is the elevation surface. The output table will contain the summary statistics for each zone. Under statistics type, you can select individual or all of statistics type for calculation purpose. We will keep the default option for all. The percentile option is available if the statistics type is either selected to all or percentile. The default value for this option is set to 90. We can add multiple percentile values for this option. Finally, the percentile interpolation type is optional, but it is the method when percentile value falls between two input raster cell values. Let's run it and see the results. The zonal output table is created and can be found under the list by data source tab as a DBF table. The number of rows in the output table will represent the number of zones. I think this is a perfect stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching. And please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us.
also subscribe and ring that bell